that except to make it and getting ready for the putt. Good par. Now we go to the 11th hole, and this is a par 5, but it's actually shorter than the par 4 10th. This one comes in at 530 yards, and, and more evidence of the kind of creativity by the award-winning design team of Patel and Duncan. Well, that's right. Patel really is, is known to be the shaper. He's the one that makes all those interesting shapes of the bunkers. For example, here, nipping it in the fairway, making driver almost too much club or very, very risky, plus the front bunker there. Now, this is a great par five. The reason why, it's reachable, it's tempting, but you don't know what you're going to finish up shooting on it. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Frank, this is a cross-country putt. He'll have a go at it, though, for birdie. We'll see. There's no backing down here. This is going to go up and down and all over the place. But a chance to go in. So a good lag putt there, Frank. Yeah, the whole idea of a lag, lag putt, sometimes you build a three or a four foot circle. Just try and get it inside that. Good putt. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Twelfth hole now, and Frank, the long hitters could have an advantage here. If they want to take a very dangerous line over that left side, uh, this is really where the shot maker has the advantage, that hole bending completely to the left. You'd like to hit a draw there, so use those bunkers down the, uh, the through side of the fairway and then just sort of shape that ball towards the green. Interesting shape green, really three different sections to this, and of course three bunkers, each protecting a different portion. Well, this one is, is offline just a bit. Look out, you know, that one is gonna end up in the rough. Pretty good result right there, considering... It looked rough all the way, Exactly, Rich. really did. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. Try up next. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. Tough game, Frank. You can hit 300-yard drives and miss three-foot putts. Yeah, there's the ecstasy, and that's the agony. Just five feet left. Workmanlike hole, he walks away with a par. On to the 13th, and Frank, I love golf courses where you run into something you've never seen before. I have never played a par five of 700 or more yards. Here it is. Frank, that's as good as I have seen all day long. Um, I think we've got to blame that on the weather. That weather, the, the wind had to help that ball give it another 20, 30 yards. This is all feel with a lob wedge. That 
is tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. On the green in regulation. Pretty chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. How does that not go in? Amazing. Stroke looked good. Uh, line looked good. Just did not take that final break. He has this for par. Well done. Now at the par 3 14th, over another body of water, Frank, you could make some big numbers on this golf course. I would think if you walk out of here today having shot under par, you have to be really happy. Certainly is big boy golf playing around uh, the cliffs at Lighthouse Point, Rich. And this is another example here at this beefy par 3, 240 yards. Uh, you can see Lake Zimmer protects the front of this green and to the right. That's obviously where they get all their irrigation water from. But uh, there's enough green left of the flag here. That's really what you've got to be looking at, that front left section. Frank, he'll have to take a full swing at this putt for birdie. This is long, but every now and again, one of these finds the bottom of the cup and makes that magic sound. Could it be? Starting to move on this leaderboard now, Frank. It's got a nice look to it. I don't know who's who. 15th hole and Frank, a return to sanity. 387 yards, par four. Yeah, second easiest hole on the golf course. Uh, bends a little to the left. Just avoid the sand left and that little pot bunker on the right. And you should uh, be set up with a relatively short iron in to a, a green that really the only problem is if you go long. Long drive, but a bad lie. Uh, wicked. Second shot coming out of the rough here. That looked like a miss hit, Frank. The lie was okay. It's a little surprising. Maybe wrong club. Uh, Rich, you know, after you've already made one mistake in the rough, there's a chance he's going to make another. Just trying to get it back out into the fairway and not make a big number. That's why on this golf course, Frank, there is a premium on hitting fairways. Uh, you're exactly right. Might be also protecting against a flyer, but that did anything other than fly. Oh, and it gets a good kick. It's only in the first cut. Not too That's bad. not too bad. Frank, I like the way he sort of starts his swing a little bit on the outside and then drops it right on plane. Putting all of his talents on display here from the rough, and he knocks it really close. Beautiful shot. Too bad. Two drop shots right there with a double bogey. A cursory look at the scorecard, Rich, and uh, well, it looks hard at 240 yards, but uh, that elevation is going to chew off quite a bit of yardage off the scorecard. Really, it's a good chance for a birdie on this closing stretch. V-shaped green, as long as you're on the right section of the green, could have a chance for birdie. That should be pretty good right there. On the safe side.
Mm, just a beautiful approach shot. Not a gimme, but well within his range. In for birdie, and now two under for the tournament. Seventeenth hole is another par five over 600 yards. You get a terrific view of Juniata Crossway Bridge just ahead. And, and Frank, if you jump over that bridge, you can get a dynamite lobster roll at Nielsen's Lobster Shack. I don't know if you've ever had it. Oh, but it's it, one of the best. It just adds to sort of the charm of this area. But what a hole this is. S-shaped par five. Uh, you can see it bending to the right off the tee, and then the hole starts to go the other way. With magnificent view of the bridge you're just referring to. Uh, reachable for the longest hitters, but uh, once again, avoid the bunkers, and they're all down the right side. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. And the computer dials this one up at 26 feet. Good putt. Well, at last we're at number 18, and Frank, I have really enjoyed this golf course. And, and now when you see the lighthouse in the distance, uh, it really makes it that much more special. It is. The, the beacon will always take you home. And speaking of home, this finishing halt, it bends to the left. Uh, a good tee shot will somehow find the fairway and just leave you a short iron in. And of course, uh, you make three here, and then that smile is going to light up like a beacon. Uh, there is fairway out there. There is. <laughs> you can't find it, though. Well, this is always one of the toughest moments in any round. You've made a mistake, you hit it OB, you're disappointed, but you have to regroup, you have to focus, and try to get this next one in play. So playing the third shot right now after having gone OB. A little uphill to this green, Frank. This is a good looking shot. Not quite dialed in all the way on that shot, but still on the putting surface. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast though, you never know. Good line, good pace, might have a chance. That's a nice lag putt. Frank, what would you focus on on a long putt? That three-foot circle. Um, obviously, you allow yourself a little bit more the further and further away you get, but um, just expectations low them a little bit. There's certain distances, just take two. Frank, what's a player feeling knowing they have one more round to go and they could have a chance at making a run and maybe 